Hello again, Goober. You again? Are you stalking me, girl? You pop up everywhere I go. I'll try to tone down the charm, but I can't promise anything. Huh, yeah, you're quite the charmer. I know. I just said that, man. Listen, I feel kind of bad about the electrocution. Oh, that's what it was. What a cherry on top of my stellar performance. Yeah, it was... Uh, pretty convincing. So what brings you to the house of God? Come to repent? I'm afraid that ship has long since sailed, buddy. I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, though. Shoot, Missy! Your real name is Franklin Goldfarb, right? Oh, nobody calls me that. Regardless, I know for a fact that you were a witness to a burglary a few years back at the Wade Estate? Yeah, what about it? Why don't you tell me what you saw exactly? I heard the alarm go off, glass break, and then I saw three guys running away, carrying a bunch of stuff. What did they look like? It was dark. I don't know. They were definitely three big, bulky guys. They, uh... They what? Oh, nothing. That's it. Didn't see anything else. Bullshit. Spit it out. Well, one of those guys dropped his ring when running away. I sort of... A ring? What kind of ring? Platinum with an inscription. Two letters. B... something. Man, I don't remember. My photographic memory stopped working in 1979. Which pawn shop was that? Pete's Pawning and Plumbing. It closed down a long time ago, though. Owner left town. There's a coffee shop back there now. Too bad. Guess that's a dead end. Thanks anyway. Didn't I see two letters fitting that description recently? Not on a building. It was something small. Nah, that god old fast. Yep, I totally went there. Did the inscription on the ring look anything like this? Wow, actually exactly like that. Any idea what BH stands for? Beehive? Bet high? Big head? <sighs> I don't need to ask him about that. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? I'd say they're good people. Isaac the priest is, anyway. His dad, Father Bill, on the other hand, though, he and the people he had around him were into some weird shit. What kind of weird shit? I don't know. Uh, they were like a cult or something, with Billy Praise himself at the top. Really shifty bunch of folks. Isaac turned it all around when his dad kicked the bucket, made it a proper church. Interesting. Do you know anyone else who was involved in the old church? Not really. I tried to stay as far away from those people as possible. Ask Isaac about it. He's a friendly guy. All right. I might do that. Know anything about the art theft at the Wade Mansion? Uh, nope. Nothing at all. I tend to stay away from, you know, crime. Okay, that's all for now. See ya! Hello, Isaac. I'm all here. Do you know what BH means? I'm sorry, but no. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Again, I see. I sure am. I had some more questions to I'm listening. I don't need to ask. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on my father's lighter. My guess would be the Black Hats. A local biker gang. Your father was a member. Of course. That makes sense. Thanks.
What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Not much. They used to stir up all sorts of trouble, but Truman kept them in check. What about now? Are they still active? I believe they are. Given the incompetence of Sheriff Boix, I'm sure they're having a field day out there. Do you know where I can find them? Not exactly. They have a clubhouse somewhere outside of town, but that's all I know. Thanks, Charles. That You're... I'd rather not. He crushed me like a twig. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tunes with him. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Why, you care to join? I'm sure they'd be real impressed by your big bike, but that's a man's club. Let's just say I have a healthy curiosity. I'd say your curiosity borders on mental illness. You have a death wish? Bikers don't mess around with little girls. You gonna help me or not, Sheriff? Not really. Go bother Lenny with it. That's all for now. Good. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Well, gotta go. See ya. Sweet bud incoming. Like hell I am, I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut. I think she does. Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? Or you'll be scraping your balls off the floor, you fucking pig. Oh, I love it when they play hard to get. Let go of me! God! <clears throat> <laughs> uh. ah! What the hell's going on out here? Nothing, Prez. Just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. For fuck's sake, Prospect, not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss, I'll go. Fuck, that hurt you, cunt. He'll be disciplined for that. He better be. I take it you're Bo? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with her deranged mother. Who are you, really? Did the Vandals send you? No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it, then. Well, I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> that's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. I need to figure out some proof.
this proof enough for you? I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Sorry about the paranoia. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. I get it. Can't be too careful. So, that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rode Corley's. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. Ain't that the truth. Most girls don't just waltz into places like this either. I guess you'd know. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. VP for ten before that. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Meyer's paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Oh, cut the bullcrap. I know it was you. I did some digging and found evidence pointing to the club. Is that so? Better be a good girl and present it to the sheriff, then. I couldn't care less about ratting you out, Bo. I just need to know what you did with the art. I have no intention of discussing your delusions as if they were facts, girl. Don't make me tell you again. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Conwell Springs is a mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a total of 16 members here. 12 patch, four prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter, as well as of the whole club. Have been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? They used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyks and the boy are a nuisance at best. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No. We had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page, I'd praise him. On the next, I'd want to smash his skull in. He could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected Joseph, and he respected me, but he hated how Brian looked up to me. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life, even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances, none whatsoever. Nope. Do you know anything about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. Hey, Brian's girl. Yeah? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. I'm all ears, buddy. Well... Bo and Brian are the double B's, as we used to call them. <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Uh, Brian came up with it. He called it a Bloodier Mary. Hmm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So let me guess, if I can produce this drink for Bo, you think you would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. But wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper and had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink. I used to be a bit of a pool shark. Been a while though. I'd like a Bloody Mary. Coming right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. One Bloody Mary, enjoy. Thanks, buddy. The club will cover that, Jose? Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. It's for Bo, not me. Hey, Bo. I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against it. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. Thanks, Bo. I'm gonna follow up on this right away. That's it? You're not gonna ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. 
and I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. That day went by fast. I think I'm gonna ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Grandma, it got kind of late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, dear. Have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Do you see? You are both unwanted, both discarded. Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. It's gotta mean something. <laughs> 